Today, we will work out some examples on dislocations in solids. The first example tells us that we have a cubic crystal and we are asked to check if it is possible for two dislocations represented by a by 2 1 1 1 each whether it is possible for these two dislocations to combine to form a single dislocation at 1 1 0. That is the question A 1 1 0. In order to find this is basically a question of energy of the formation of dislocation. A by 2 1 1 1 this is equal to h square plus k square 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square by 2 a square which is 3 by 2 a square no even so that is the energy of the single dislocation so energy of two dislocations is 3 halves a square whereas the energy of a dislocation a 1 1 0 is 1 square plus 1 square into a square which is 2 a square. So, since this energy, so this is E 1, this is E 2, it is clear that E 1 is less than E 2. So, the combination, the two dislocations combining to form a single dislocation is not energetically possible. That is the answer. Next, we are again told that we have a simple cubic crystal whose lattice parameter is uh, 3 angstroms. So, a positive edge dislocation whose length is 1 millimeter we are told that it climbs up 
by 1 micrometer. We are asked to find how many vacancies are lost or created. That is the question. So, we are told that you have an the area is 1 millimeter 10 to the power minus 3 meters into 1 micron meter which is 10 to the power minus 6 which is 10 to the power minus 9 meters. That is the area affected. is 3 into 10 to the power minus 10 square which is 9 into 10 to the power minus 20 meter square. So, in this area how many unit cells are there for an area of 10 to the power minus 9. We have 10 to the power minus 9 by 9 into 10 to the power minus 20, which is 1 by 9 into 10 to the power 11, which is 1.1 1 .1 into 10 to the power 10. This is the number of vacancies created. The next problem concerns the elastic strain. We are asked to calculate the elastic strain per unit length associated with screw dislocations in a metallic crystal. We are told that the Burgers vector is uh, 0.3 nanometers. In the shear modulus, is 10 to power 11 Newton per meter square. We are also given us to assume that this strain energy is negligible beyond 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters. And the non elastic core energy dominates at a distance less than one point five nanometer. This is a simple substitutional problem in which we know the expression for the strain energy which was discussed in the lecture. It is strain elastic strain per unit length. is g b square by 4 pi log 
r by r zero. So in this, this is b, this is g, this is r zero, and this is r. So substituting these values. 10 to power 11 into 0.3 into 10 to power minus 9 square by ln r is 3 into 10 to power minus 6 by R zero is one point five to ten to minus nine. So calculation gives per meter. In the last question, we are told that iron has a body centered cubic. Structure with a lattice constant. If slip occurs causing edge dislocation, what would be the length of the Burgers vector? We know that the slip direction in a BCC structure is 1, 1, 1 and it is A by 2, 1, 1, 1. So, this will be in the case of 1, 1, 1, since the lattice constant is 2.8 angstroms, is 2.8 into root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square by 2. So, this will be which is 0.2. 